Stitching pieces of soft fabric together is Mary Consolata's skill. Her quilting group makes hundreds of reusable pads using old clothes. Mary wants to help the millions of Ugandan girls who skip school every month during their menstrual cycles. When you look at the market in Uganda, it's too expensive. Like, no family in rural area will be able to buy two pads for 7,000 shillings. So we are trying to create a product that is good and is cheap and that will keep our girls in school. Mary is one of the hundreds of young people who turned up at this entrepreneurial workshop to learn from the diverse ideas of starting up and improving businesses. The discussions here encourage jobless young Ugandans to take the leap in doing business. I came back to Uganda to create jobs, so I think that as inter entrepreneurs we also have to think about what can we do for our country and our youth instead of just taking the jobs outside of Uganda to try to keep them here and then employ people. Uganda's Bureau of Statistics estimates over 60% of young people are jobless. There isn't an enough of a support system to create an, a sustainable entrepreneurial spirit. Um, and, uh, you know, they, there isn't enough innovation that's going on to um, address the problems that we currently face in healthcare, in agriculture, and in education. So Mary hopes that more young people like her can be more creative and come up with solutions like her reusable pads to solve the unemployment problem. Every year thousands graduate from university in Uganda but many fail to find jobs. Experts attribute the problem of youth unemployment to a skills mismatch in the job market and trainers hope to position the young people's skills to the available job opportunities. Isabel Nakiria, CGTN, Kampala.